Hello everyone to Dark Souls 2 is called the first edition the last episode we dealt with the uh, Aldia's keep uh, Yeah And we also went to the dragon shrine and we met Aldia himself Again for the third time in This episode we're actually gonna go through the dragon shrine in completion And that's it That's it that's it. That's really it. And I don't know. We might fight the ancient dragon. I don't know. But let me tell you the funny story. So, if you remember what the firekeeper, not firekeeper, Emerald Herald said in the in the last few minutes of last episode, she said that the dragon will accept us, and and so he does. So, yeah. Let me explain. So. Normally what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to fight about five, actually it's like four enemies throughout this area. And these guys will let you pass for, for now, of course. And well, that is how you get to this area. However, the first time I tried to go through this area, I actually didn't know that. And I skipped her dialogue as well. Funny enough, I attacked them repeatedly. And of course, once you attack them, they get aggro to you, and then when you sit down, they won't get aggro to you. So, yeah. The, I kind of screwed that game up by continuously attacking them, thinking that they were going to be an enemy you'd have to kill. I was wrong. Also, you get some bonfire aesthetics. Three of them, to be exact. Nice. Um, yeah, you don't actually need to kill these guys. So, that was my mistake. Of course, if you run past the drag, uh, you run past these guys, then they will attack you. If you try to run past them, uh, these guys will, in fact, attack you, and then thusly kill you if you're bad. However, you know, don't let that happen. Because uh, I'm a lot stronger than I probably should be. Uh, these guys only take about four hits, but once you kill them, you can come into here and they won't attack you. They're actually, like, really struggling not to attack you. It's kind of funny. Uh, I mean, you can come up here and you can easily kill someone, one of them. But come up here and get this item first to well get. Let's see. Sorry to scratch my, my ankle. It was itchy. Uh, you can come up here and these guys will be here. And if you do kill them and get up here, this guy has a great bow shoot you so yeah you can actually kind of uh, cheat this area a little bit by shooting this guy rather than just immediately going to fight him because you're not you're not running past him nor are you um trying to run past him you know you're not, not going past him whatsoever uh the dragon guys see it as a sort of they still see it as you're being loyal to the fight and that's awesome, because then it allows you to uh, go through this area pretty easily. Once he's dead, I think that one's the hardest out of the bunch. So that's why I shoot him, rather than just go for the fight. But once you uh, kill these three, you have the majority of this area done. You can get the Drake, uh, Drake Keeper Axes, which these, those are what those enemies are. And you can actually get the shield as well. I believe we got the shield. We did. Cool. Well, we're not quite done with this area. These guys might have died and given us some dragon charms. They, they can drop that. But we're not quite done, and we're not going to go through this door that's over here quite yet. Because that's on to the main area of the game. We're just going to head over here to this area and drop down. This will lead us to this chest, and this chest is actually a mimic in uh, Dark Souls. N normal Dark Souls 2. Or there is a mimic down here. I'm not sure if this one is a mimic, but... There is a mimic down here in the normal version of the game. If you come over here, you'll notice that there's this guy. Um, and Mr. Buddy will again uh, will not will not attack you if you uh, continue on to this area. I'm actually gonna run backwards here and heal. As long as you run backwards, not forwards, these guys want these um, certain guys that want to attack you. So, yeah, just don't try to run forward, because that's stupid. Yeah, they're 
For some reason, I can hit right through his shield. I don't know what's up with that. Most of the time, you can't. You can come and pick this item up once he's dead, and again, this guy won't attack you. Um, again, if you try to try to kill one of them, all try to attack you. And then comes one of the best rings in the game. One of the three. You open this up. A man by the name of... Not, not actually quite yet. Okay, there is. Dragon Fang Villard. He is a red... A red invader, a dark spirit, that invades here, protecting one of a uh, few items. And that's kind of it. He's up here. He won't quite move from the spot until you meet him up here. He is relatively easy as long as you have go with what I've taught you how to do. And yeah, he will kill you if you're bad. Um, that is the first time I've died to him. I got greedy with trying to parry. I'm not doing so hot, but it's whatever. Um, there's like really nothing to worry about there, but yes, we do have to go and kill them over again. It's kind of sucky. Um,. Also, this guy, he actually has a, um, a mat, like, he actually can shoot a magic bolt out of his, uh, sword, which is, I think, pretty cool. So, yeah. Don't worry, though, we'll head back there, and it'll only take a few. Never mind, I just lost 50,000 souls. So, if you want to know, the speed run for this game, well, more of the no-hit run for this game, Actually, this part of the game is actually completely skipped. Actually. No, it's not. But, but whatever. The, the speed, the, the, the no-hit part, the people that have no-hit this game. Actually, they do this technique where they pull poison arrows out and poison them to death, which works surprisingly well. So, we're going to do that ourselves. And, yeah. They can be poisoned. Once they're poisoned, they're basically just going to be dead. I mean, we can wait here. I'm just going to go in and make this a little bit quicker. But they're relatively easy to kill. And they also drop healing items called dragon charms. They're better monastery charms, so yeah. This guy doesn't have a shield, so he's going to be a lot easier to poison because the guys with shields, they can block your arrows, making it a lot harder for them to be poisoned. Of course, you do an easy attack now. I don't know. Let's go try to fight this guy normally, I guess. I mean, we lost 50,000 souls, but I don't care. We're really high-leveled for this for these kind of areas. Yeah, let's try to fight this guy normally. So these enemies are like uh, old knights, I think. I think they're the best uh, people to kind of use... As an example, these guys are very similar to old knights that we've seen in Hyde's Fortress, Hyde's, not Fortress, Hyde's, uh, Tower of Flame, and, uh, Aldeas, not Aldeas. What is the area that we were at before? Ow, also he can hit with his shield, I didn't, I forgot about that. Um, I can't remember what that area is called. The, the area with the frog... The, uh, the, 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 um, the Demon of Song area. Stop! Why do you do that attack? <laughs> What's up with that? Oh, also, I can explain this ring that we got, too. It's awesome. Don't hit. I'm telling you this now. Do not hit uh, the dragon. He will uh, aggro on you immediately. And you don't want that. Hit. No! What? Didn't have enough stamina. Got it. Alright, I would run right through it, but then it would cause me more trouble than, than not. Why? Why? Why is this causing me more trouble than it is? I'm not good at this area. I don't hate it. I don't... This area... I love this area because of... The art and the characters to hear. I love the, the optional boss I've never fought. But my problem is 
Why do I never have enough stamina than I th think I do? Okay, finally I can explain this ring. The increased HP stamina maximum load. It is an, a, an impressive ring and it's actually the best of its kind. There are uh, one dragon rings, uh, first dragon rings, second dragon rings, and third dragon rings. The first is the, the most weak. The second is the most mediocre, while, um, well, the, the one that we have is the strongest. It's really nice to have, um, and allows me to have a lot more health, too, which is awesome, to say the least. I'd say, come and get this ring. You, I mean, you don't necessarily need to fight um, the dragon guy, but... Do come and get this item because it's very nice to have and allows you to, well, survive just that much larger, longer, and that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's, I think that's about it. Uh, this is this this guy. We're gonna f not die to him, hopefully. He has the le l uh, least amount of health out of all of them, all out of all of the types. So, yeah. And this time we're not going to die, and we're actually going to go and kill that invader, and then get that item, and a few items, and the 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 items. One. Hit him. Gather. One. Two. And three. Hit him one more time. Alright, now. Get out of there. He really likes stunning you. Oh, how you doing? Ow, what? Get up. No. No! Die. One more hit. There you go. Okay. Dragon charm. Dragon charms, I might as well explain them now. Uh, where are they? They are not here, where are they? trying to find them ah right here this is the monastery charm and this is a dragon charm it is just a better healing item than a monastery charm but they're harder to get well not anymore that's that's that that's literally that now let's go and fight the, the invader and actually kill him this time and uh have fun the reason i'm not very distraught about losing fifty thousand souls is because we can get fifty thousand souls pretty easily and that's kind of it <laughs> Uh, yeah. And now, I'm not gonna let him, uh, hit me. I, uh, been bested already. Okay. And, yeah, I got him. Okay, thank God. I was gonna be real sad if I died again. Okay. Uh, well, we're gonna come and pick this item up. The Petrified Egg. It's human effigies for killing the invader, not for getting the egg. And that's going to be very important later. We'll actually do that. We'll do the, the thing that is uh, attached to that later. We're going to petrify something, and we're going to drop down here. You might not be able to see it, but you can drop down here and pick this chest up, which has some goodies in it. Um, it has a spell in it, I believe. Yeah, crystal magic weapon. Best type of magic weapon. And a... Fragment branch of yore, which is again pretty cool. Allows us to go and open more areas, which is awesome. Next, we're gonna head up here, and this is where this part gets difficult. Um, yeah. So I don't know if you can see him, but there's this guy all the way up there. He will always attack you. There is not a moment that he won't. Um, and yeah, he's. Probably the hardest enemy that you fight here. Uh, best way to do it is just sim simply poison him and then just kind of run. Or do what I did and hit him and allow him to take a lot more damage and then get out of there! Because he does a ton of damage and it's ridiculous. And three, two, one. That. That fight's really easy as long as you take that approach. And then comes this part. So, 
We're gonna head inside. And hi guys. If you run past the guy, scare me. If you run past the guy, then they'll attack you. And we'll get to meet the ancient dragon. Ashen Mist Heart. And, well, you might think we're done. We're not. So there is actually a way to fight this guy. Um, and it's a boss, and I've never fought him. Yes, this is my attempt at the Ancient Dragon. Get ready, because there's going to be a lot more. We'll be coming back to this area later if I don't instantly kill him, because I'm so good. But, yeah. The Ancient Dragon. I've never fought this guy. He has a ton of health. And yet... I've never fought him. Um, I heard this fight's extremely difficult. And I'm not excited. Uh, you actually have to paint his skin rather than, like, his nails or something, from what I know. Okay, this is gonna be a lot more difficult than I thought. Okay, so the Ancient Dragon is a battle I've never fought, and I hear that he is extremely difficult to fight. He is the most health out of any boss in the game, and has an amazingly difficult uh, attack to try. No, bear. Once you attack this man, all hell breaks loose. And I don't not joking. This fight will get so much harder because, well, how do I say this? Once you fight them, once you fight him, not only does the big guys try to attack you, it's also the top, why, why wasn't I okay I'm actually gonna back up because I don't I don't know why I wasn't able to move here. but the, yeah no it's I'm gonna be here for a long time and yeah I'm gonna say this now this fight has gotten 12 times as difficult because now these enemies will try to attack you. Actually, no, they won't. Yes, they will. Actually, what? What? Uh, hold on. 
I thought that, okay, what, really? Wait a second, this isn't right. Something's not right. Are you guys just not? Okay. I'm gonna like come over here and heal real quick. Cause I don't know what's up. Something doesn't seem right. We're gonna come over here and open this door. And then we're gonna come over here and open this door. Uh, the tip here is apparently to just... I'm, like, scared. Because I don't know what's gonna happen. Hey, are you gonna try to kill me? No? Okay. Really? Okay, well, this is the Age of Dragon fight again. Cool. Uh, yeah. Get all the way to the edge, go! And that's apparently how you fight this guy. Um... I don't know if in the Skull of the First Ten he's easier. I have no idea. I think that might be the case. Because I hear I hear a lot of things saying that his fire attack is like really really nasty. And from what I can tell, it doesn't seem all that bad. I don't know, it might just be me though. Okay, we're just gonna run away. Okay, run! Like, actually run! Like, why? Okay, we're gonna switch over to this again, I guess. You gonna breathe fire? What are you doing? No, you're jumping over you, and then you're gonna breathe fire. No. What are you doing? What's your plan? Oh, a bite! Really? You can do that? Really? Next second. That's a fire attack. Run! So the, the idea is you can use the, the Gower's Ring of Protection to protect your backside, making this fight, like, really easy. Not really easy, but a lot easier, apparently. And that's what I was doing. I just feel like his attacks have been scaled down because this is not as difficult as I would have thought it was. It seems pretty straightforward anyways. Does does he get more powerful? Like, is that what happens? Like I'm not I'm not saying that this fight is easy. I'm just I don't know what's up. Cause when when I say when I get told the boss is difficult and I believe people. And from what I could tell, this fight isn't all that bad. Is it? No, that's more fire. Oh, that's gonna probably end up hitting me. Yeah, yeah. And I'm dead. <clears throat> I'm not dead. That did suck. I will, I will say that. That one did, uh, in fact, suck. But that was like, because I knew. Now he's backing up. Is because he sometimes he goes forward. That might be what it is. I believe that. Yeah. Cause now he's going backwards, and it makes his fire attack do. It's a lot harder for him to do that attack. He's gonna. That's a fire forward.
I'm actually just about to run like super far forward. That's a jump forward! Yep. See, the idea is if he goes real far back, run forward, like really far forward. And yeah. So that's what I've seen. Yeah. Um. And that's a fire attack. Another moment of time where I'm just gonna walk forward. Oh, now he's really coming up on me. Oh God, the ring got broken. That's a breath. Can you please back up, sir? Please. That's a bite! Bite of 87. What is this? FNAF! Right, back up. Yes! Thank you for backing up. I'm grateful. Do a fire thing. Yes. More backwards. Okay. Hmm. I'm getting really worried. Oh, oh, that's forward. I had to roll that one. Make double sure I'm safe there. Oh, make sure it run! Safe distance now. Do a fire attack, do a fire attack. Oh my god, this is gonna hit me. Yeah, no, I'm dead. <gasps> I'm not dead. Heal. Back up, please. <gasps> Run! Oh, okay, we're in a safe distance now. Whew, thank God he's backing up. It's a lot of moving forward and then backing up. Okay. That was not that much damage. That's a bite of 87! I, I don't know why I keep saying that, but it works. And that's the back up. I'm guessing it needs to be just back up. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a back up, I think. It might, it might not have not even moved. And that's another back up, so I'm just gonna walk this one. I had an itchy shoulder. Do a fire breath attack. That's not what I think it is. Okay, run as far forward as I can. Okay. I think we should be good. Do a front for, uh, fire attack. Not necessarily what I meant by that, but it works. Oh, I made it. By the skin of my teeth. Alright. Alright. 
And with that, the ancient dragon is dead. This is the first time I've ever fought this guy, and, well, probably won't be the last. And with that, we get a soul of a giant and a petrified bone. Nice. Cool. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess cool. Um, so let's head back. I thought that was going to go a lot harder. Also, we got a solo giant, so that's cool. That's two out of the five of the game, and I still technically haven't explained what they do yet, and I won't be doing that quite yet. So, we actually have a few things we still need to do. Um, that fight was <laughs> surprisingly easy for me. It must have just been, you know, my luck. Seriously, God. Um, okay, so we got the Ashen Mist Heart, and yeah, we won't be doing much with that right right now, but we'll be doing some stuff with it um, in the future. Actually, probably next episode. Not even probably, yes. Next episode, we'll be doing stuff with it. Until we're going to level up. And, uh, yeah, we're going to put a 20 into here and then hope... Okay, we're close there. Um, yeah, I was very surprised with that. So we're actually going to use all of these souls real quick. So, A, we're going to buy the miniature. We're not going to talk to the guy in uh, the area quite yet, but we're going to, in that one area, who wanted the miniature, or wanted to see it. But we are going to, um, get it for later. Um, yeah, that's kind of it, though. Uh, use all these and get the miniature and then I'll probably end up leveling up here after we're done yeah I'll definitely have enough for I think two levels up level ups let's see yeah for sure and then I'll be able to get that other item that I wanted to get sick come to see how so we're gonna actually buy the um the miniature now it's really not all that much and we're gonna be on our way um next we're gonna actually head back to the harvest not harvest, uh, the undead corpse, I think that's what it's called. What is this area called? This is Harvest Valley, but the area before the Huntsman's Copes, okay. We're gonna head to the undead refuge and talk to, uh, I think his name's Flanagan or something, Filigan. Filigan, the, um, the outcast or something, it's something like that. Um, we'll talk to him, and because we have, I need to level up first. I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, we're gonna be right back. We gotta level up and put two into intelligence and faith. And then, we can go and, uh, talk to him and get, uh, well. You'll see. Twenty twenty. Now. We're gonna head to Huntsman Copes and uh, talk to him because we can. And uh, he gives us something because we have been, um, because we have 2020. He'll give us something. I believe. I believe this is this is correct. All right, we're gonna go talk to him. Is your name Fulgan or something? <gasps> all right. Remember, he can sell all these stuff. These talk. are for you. So, once you hit 2020, you can get the Sunset Staff and the Hexer's stuff. Into the dark. This yeah. man, this king, or the All right. second. He's just saying. No so, he will give us the Sunset Staff, which is really good. Uh, this is pretty good. But it only does hexes. And he will also give us the armor that he's wearing. Um wherever it is uh, where, where is it ah hexer stuff you can tell by the, the helmet here and it allows us to boost the number of spells that we can cast or the helmet does anyways um yeah so that's also 
I'll still figure that out next time. What was the next thing I want to do? All right, we're going to head back to Iron Keep and give or talk to the merchant again because we got an egg and um, if you talk to him, he'll be he's going to be very interested in eggs and dragons and guess where we just were. The HQ of dragons and eggs. So we head there. And once we do head there, we're going to talk to him. Yeah, that's kind of it. That's really it. We're just going to wait here for a second, make sure he comes down. I'm surprised I still can't one-shot these guys. Man, you know. We're gonna talk to him, and fascinated by it. He wants you to give him a petrified egg. Very kind of you. This thing is amazing. C could it be a dragon egg? I feel invigorated just by holding it. So well, now. We can actually join the Covenant of Drag Dragon Revenants, making us have all nine, uh, all nine things that we have. We can get Ancient Dragon Seal and a Dragon Eye. Um, and he doesn't sell anything, but he we can offer a Dragon Scale that we got before, and yeah. Uh, here are the stats for, uh, the Covenant. Very well. So, yeah, we have all of them. That's kind of... We have all of the uh, covenants, and we have the dragon eye allows us to put down a uh, summon for us to kill the enemy. Very nice. Um, we're not... You know, that's, we're not going to do that, but it's it's pretty cool. Uh, either way, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we're going to head back to Majula, but you should know that this is the end of the episode. Um, yeah. The next episode, hopefully, we'll be dealing with... I don't know, actually. I don't know what we'll be doing, but we'll be dealing with the Ashen Mist Heart and seeing what that does. And also... I don't know. Killing some more bosses. Either way, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you know how this works you know that after every episode i show the stats from that episode so yeah i'll see you guys next time peace